versus Jaina. Okay. Probably quest mage. Let's see. Um. Yeah, it looks like an easy mulligan here. Okay, this hand is looking really strong. Oh wow. You here for the tour? Time to go in. Ooh, go type is nice to see. Agony goes a long way. Yeah, I'll just drop that. Um, combustion positioning maybe? If he generates it or something. Yeah. Okay. You can count on me. I'm certified. It's going nice and slow. I'll throw down another juggler. I'll space them out. Jeez. A little agony goes a long way. Flesh giants are getting really cheap. I'd really like to see a hand of gold band next turn though. It looks like he's taking another off turn. He's probably gonna pop off next turn. Well, this tap is free. Um, I'll definitely do that. Nice hand up there. Maybe we can hit a flesh giant here. It's gonna be discarded anyway. Flesh giant. Nope, no flesh giant. Um. What we what we can do is cheeky ankle biter. Uh, hit him. Bring rally. Make these guys tankier. And I wonder if I want to drop this guy. Nah, uh, I think I'll leave room for this low Uh, well, chances are he's gonna he's gonna kill a few of these guys. So I think it's better just to have more attackers on board. Maybe I could have dropped the Malkazones in? No, I don't need that much draw. Aw, uh, you guys are missing. Yeah. He's gonna probably go in with like a Flame Licker. Sorcerers. Oh, uh, no Sorcerers. Okay, he's probably just dead then. I can just lock him out with a Loka. Yeah, he's just dead. I don't even need Loka. That was easy. Oh wow, that was a fast queue. Okay, I played this guy earlier. He was playing even lock. Um, maybe he's still playing it, or maybe he switched over to disco lock. Okay. Um. Well, this mulligan seems easy. I really like Hand of Gul'dan. I normally wouldn't keep Expired Merchant, but because I have a Hand of Gul'dan, I keep it. And Flame Pit, Flame Nip, and ju it's just a good keep usually. Oh, he's still playing even lock. Well, I can just do this then. And with that. So and then time. next turn, I'm gonna um, expand Merchant, maybe hit another, like, few zero mana uh, demons, like Matrazar's Imp and Flingman. Okay. Awesome. Extra draws. 
Oh, that's really nice to see, actually. Um, yeah. In fact, I'll I'll make this trade. Um, and I do want them back, so I'll actually play both lays deads here. The reason why I traded there was because otherwise he can just defile me. Um, like if I don't trade there, he's if he has to file, I'm just screwed. In this way, I guarantee my Karen Thad's back. Um, although this deck it doesn't really benefit that much from shuffling Karen Thad Prime in. But, uh, Karen Thad, like you're gonna see here, allows me to do stuff like this. Um, I'm gonna drop these guys, and... We're gonna hopefully hit a Hannibal down here. I wonder if it's... I think it's worth the risk. It'd suck the most if I lost a giant. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, hit him. Yeah, next turn looks like we're just gonna throw down a giant. Well, if I bite my own face, this this counts by two. And this this counts by yeah. And then we're gonna load that him next turn. He's got no I don't think his deck runs burst from hand, like no junk bombs or anything. Oh, besides Hellfire. Um but yeah, that's it. This Lotha might be able to lock him out. Um maybe he plays Shadow Flame. That'd be something I should be wary of. Okay, spell stuff. Okay. Um this will make the file cost Okay, this is perfect. And then I'm gonna smack him. Um, worst case scenario, he plays like a Molten Giant and then taunts it. But um, my hand is looking really heavy on the draw right now. So I I might even be able to get through that. And if, even if he just- if he does that, he's just dead. Yeah, he's just dead. Rather easy win. Oh wow, the key times are really fast. Usually, um, earlier I was getting like six minute queue times. This is crazy. Ooh, this is a good player. I might lose to him. Okay, I don't want any of these in my opening hand. <sighs> Let's see who can high roll harder. And with that, it's very nice to see. And with Dan, it's very nice to see. The question is, do I go for the 1 and 3? No, I don't. I might just have to tap next turn. Um, actually, no, I think it's better just to drop. If I have to, I'll have to drop a naked counter pad. Um, I'm gonna take off that uh, imp from the board. I really don't want him to get extra draws from that. Ooh. I'm just gonna go with my own imp then. No, actually, he can, um, I'm gonna save this imp for next turn, because I can go Karathad, zero mana imp, and then Soulfire. Um, this way, if I throw this imp out, he might be able to, like, Soulfire and get value off of his Soulfire. Okay, that's nice to see from him. Alright, um, really suck if he, yeah, that demon. But I should kill it, right? I, okay, it's bad for me. I'm in trouble. Okay, that's that just got out of reach. Um, so that is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't kill that. Yeah, this looks like a loss so far. 
I think uh, the only way I might be able to have come back in this game was hitting the hand of Gul'dan off of that soul fire. Um, otherwise, it looks like I'm just losing this to the Tiny Knight. I'm still gonna play this out. Um, I wanna see how far I can get with a high roll Tiny Knight like that. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm just dead. Great, Rogue. Um, if I had to guess, probably Kingsbane. Always keep the Kenra that. Allows you to cheat so much mana. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, definitely a Kingsbane. Um. Okay. I might just corner another kobold depending on what this is. Yeah, I think so. If he like draws patches and uh, gets patches and stuff out of his deck, I can just bite a pirate next turn. I'll just throw down the camera then actually. There is so much untapped power in this world. Maybe he's holding for a big cannon turn. And I'll have to soul fire it. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it. Darn hit my camera tag. That. Oh, yeah, that messed up. Okay. We're gonna need this to hit. Okay, missed. That's fine. I didn't want to play the race out there because it's, it would lessen my chances of hitting the handicle down even more. I might just lose because of that, actually. I think what that turn to sh should have been, uh, in hindsight, was Cheeky Incubator to discount the giant to 5, and then, um, Soul Fire, maybe. Okay. Well, I think this turn I'm just gonna... Uh, I'm gonna kill this guy because, um... I don't think he's re-equipping his weapon next turn, so I'll, I'll just bite this. And just throw down the imp just to try to get on board. Yeah, um, I've made that mistake a couple times before. Just, um, your flesh giant can't get in the way of your hand to sometimes, so you just gotta make sure you just count it, um, below 6 before you do stuff with, like, Expired Merchant. That's one downside to this deck, but, um, yeah. Still a really strong deck. Okay. I'm just gonna throw down a giant here. Oh, I can throw down this guy too. And I can throw down this guy. Okay. Let's see what we can do. I need to be careful of like 
foil now. It's got five damage right now. I do have uh, taunts in the deck, like Volgar Homunculus. Blood and plunder. Yikes. Blood and plunder. <laughs> If I were him, I'd probably just go, um, yeah, all face. Like, that totally limits my ability to tap more. Yikes. Um, well, I have to make that trade. Uh, so what I'm thinking here, my, uh, my only shot is um, dropping the Lothab, I have to pass on the giant, because I don't want him to... Um, if he has the pirate draw, the, the three mana draw, um, Kinsman, I block that, and he has to have like the second Kevin Shiny Fender. Um, this also blocks his... Uh, well, it doesn't really block Secret Passage, actually. Uh, it's, yeah, Secret Passage can still do it, too. Feed that fish. Oh, and this... Oh. Yeah, he just got me. Okay. Well, I messed up that game, but, um... It's always good to look back on your game, Sims. See how, what you could have done better. 